Hey everybody, my name is Whatever and welcome to Atama Chef. This game is a resource management puzzler where we'll be making automated restaurants at the behest of a robot overlord who is trying to take over humanity as they always do. And uh, we're just gonna kind of create some automation, use some conveyor belts, robot arms, different machinery to, to automate some hamburgers and junk. Uh, let's get into it here. This game is available on Steam right now. It is uh, launched on the 23rd of this month. Developed by Herbie's Interactive and published by Team 17 Digital Limited. Thank you to them for sending me a free copy so I can check it out for you guys today. Let's get into the game here. There is, first of all, a campaign mode, which basically serves as your tutorial here. The first couple levels are just basic tutorial, and it kind of increases in difficulty, giving you different challenges along the way here. We've done a few of these so far, and now I'm about four into these, right? And there's, there's options here now. But I think what we're going to do, actually, is go into the contracts mode, which I found very interesting. Contracts mode is basically you can do, you make a series of kitchens and you try to optimize them based on the requirements of the contract. And this is kind of the way to play it. The game also has uh, it has some scenario editors. So you can kind of make your own scenarios with this, share them on Workshop. It has some mods to download if you want to create your own mods, new recipes or whatever you want to make. You can add those in Workshop as well. And then test sites where kind of you can just like take your stuff for the tutorial and play around with it in a free, you know, infinite space of uh, no li money on no limits on money just build whatever you want in the test site but like i said today we're gonna be doing contracts mode we're gonna do a contract here and do a couple of maybe a couple jobs see what we get to just to kind of show off the game we need a name for our company i'm gonna call it robo modis everybody comes to robo modis robo motos no robo modis there we go spelling's tough we need the logo for robo modis and i'm gonna go with this guy right here i kind of like the even though it's an n kind of shape not a not an m but that's okay we'll deal all right, so we got contracts here. We have $50,000 in cash. That's a restart. Our reputation is at the measly 10%. Uh, we have an inbox here where we can pick up new jobs. There's the feed bag. Gives us a payment of $70,000 if we accomplish it. Deliver 30 dishes. So every job is going to have kind of a dish requirement and a power usage requirement. A difficulty setting we can choose here. And then it has our recipes over here. This is a pretty simple one to start with for our very first one. Payout's not too bad. No advance payment, unfortunately, but we do have some money in reserve right now, which might make, make that okay. Efficiency bonus, if we get below the 53, get above the 53%, rather, we get an efficiency bonus of 6,000 bucks, and that's not going to be too bad. This one does not look too bad. Let's take a look at the other ones quickly, though. This feedback one has us delivering 30 dishes, uh, deliver a meal to a food critic, which I have not done in this game before. I don't know how that works. So that could be a little challenging. Maybe we'll save that one for later in this episode. And then the feedback here, deliver 30 dishes, deliver a meal to a food critic. There's four different recipes to pick from that we have to accomplish. We get a little bit of an advance. That might be better off later on down the road. We need a little extra cash to work with here. But let's start with the feedback here because this seems nice and straightforward so I can explain the game a little bit here. And we'll just do a medium challenge. I think the challenge, the, the challenge level, the difficulty level, just determines the uh, delivery dishes probably, and maybe the frequency of like outbursts and that kind of thing that can happen. Because things can go wrong in your kitchen, just like any kitchen. Uh, anyways, we have two burgers to repair. We have, looks like we have a plain hamburger and a plain cheeseburger. Well, not the plain cheeseburger, just a burger with cheese on it. Okay, so just to explain the game here a little bit, we have some objectives over here. These are our two recipes we need to create. That's our payouts. We need to deliver 30 dishes and use less than 1400 watts of power. That should be, actually, that's a lot of power. That's not a lot of power, actually. Uh, the game basically is uh, based on all these different machines here. We have an assembler. What this can do is take ingredients into it and do the final assembly to make something. So let's say we want to make a cheeseburger, for instance, out of this one. We'll also need a second assembler to make a hamburger here. And we'll put those there for now. We'll move this stuff around. The game is pretty, pretty fair, I think. I mean, as far as like coming up with things and designing things, you can kind of just put everything on down on the paper here and see what sticks. Uh, so with these things, then we need dispensers. The dispensers produce product, and they, they basically will give you all your ingredients. Now, for these two things, it's pretty simple. We have burgers, patties, cheese, and that's it. So that might actually only need. Now I know we're gonna need, we're still gonna need two assemblers because this can only do one ingredient at a time. They can only do one plain hamburger or they want to do one cheeseburger. That's all it can do. And unfortunately, the way recipes work here, we can't just combine a hamburger with cheese and make a cheeseburger. We need to combine all three ingredients together to make a cheeseburger. So, there's that. I think over here I'm going to switch this to hamburger. I'm going to switch this one to cheeseburger. 
just because I feel like I like having more room down here. Okay, so let's get our dispensers out there. We're gonna need a dispenser for all of our ingredients. And as we saw here a minute ago, clicking on the ingredients page, we need buns, patties, and cheese. And we're also gonna need buns and patties. So that's that's the two ingredients we're gonna need. So we're gonna need, uh, not assemblers, we're gonna need these dispensers here. And we're gonna set these up for buns, patties, buns, patties, cheese for now. We'll fix these up in a minute here. Just wanna kinda lay everything out here. We're gonna need a grill. We're gonna need a second grill. We're gonna need grills to cook things on. We're gonna need a food processor for our cheese. Where we're gonna put that? Let's throw it someplace here. And we're gonna need conveyor belts and robot arms and all that kind of stuff here. So this is a good, this is actually a good simple one to explain the game here a little bit. Stuff comes in via these dispensers. We tell what we want out of here. We got burgers in there. We want, uh, we want patties coming out of here. What we can then do is move everything by conveyor belt out of these and move it towards the fryer here. We'll fry that up. Now this fryer, this grill, this grill can only accept, it can't accept things directly from a conveyor belt. You need a robot arm. There's two different kinds. Actually, I think in the game, there's four different kinds of robot arms we can get. But the two we start with here are dumb and smart. Smart can, you can tell basically to filter things. And we're gonna need one of these two. These ones you can tell to filter things. So let's say we want it to grab only a certain type of thing. That's where we tell it to grab. And you can use that when it's grabbing off of the inventory that something's putting onto you. So for instance, we're gonna take burgers out of here this thing's gonna grab them, put them on the grill, and we want this thing to only grab off the cooked patties. Otherwise, it's gonna keep grabbing off the uncooked patties, and it's not gonna get us anywhere. Then from there, I can put it on the conveyor belt, take the conveyor belt over to here, but you know what? We don't even need to do that because we're gonna take it for it from here and put it right into there. So we want to have it pick up and put it into right there. And like this, like this, like this. We'll bring it down a little bit here. You know, I might smooth this around too. So we have uh, this whole thing for the burgers. Bring this in like this, save some space. This needs to be right there, put some space into there. And then we can grab it our dumb and throw things into there. All right, so that's a burger or recipe here. Burgers come in, they cook, they burp these process. We can do actually simulate a uh, burger here. Just have a go. So that somebody, let's pretend somebody orders a burger. This is what's going to happen. Burger order comes in. This goes like this. This goes like this. It cooks up. Once it receives the patty, it throws it in there. Now, we don't want this running all the time because now we've screwed up the recipe and there's two cooked burgers in there. So one thing I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to back this up a little bit. Um, let's see. Well, first of all, we can mess with the timing of these things. This raw patty is gonna come every five seconds. That's the minimum it can produce. This one is gonna come every 10 seconds. Why 10 seconds? Because this takes five seconds to cook. So burgers come out of here. 10 seconds later, this comes out, they go into here. Now that might timing might not quite work out just right, but we'll get this even more efficient here in a minute. Let's focus on the cheeseburger now. The cheeseburger is almost identical. What I could probably do is do a blueprint of this. All right, and hit enter. Makes a blueprint of burger. And then we can delete all this stuff. We go like this, we can just copy that right in there. And then we gotta throw the cheese in the mix here. The way we're gonna do that is have it just come in like this. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put the Burger dispenser there. This is going to miss flow out of here, go into here, and then we're going to have a... The thing we need here is a dispenser then, pumping out cheese. And that cheese is going to go into a processor, which is going to cut it all up for us. That's going to come over to here, conveyor belt over to there. And we're going to set this to make sure it's set to cheeseburger now. Got to make sure that all changed around again here. So burgers come in, they cook, they go here. We're gonna set this one to seven seconds. We're gonna set this one to 10 seconds. That's all good now. Um, and these things are gonna only grab cooked patties. That's perfect. I think we have all our ingredients here. All this will flow into here properly. This will be a little more delayed. This will be lesser delayed. That should work out. The other thing we're gonna do to make our things a little smarter here is use an order reader. This is the thing that is introduced to show you how you can make uh, different triggers based on what shows up for orders here, for instance. So we can say, detect orders if there's a cheeseburger present, add a connection to turn this on, to turn this on, to turn this on, and to fire this guy up. 
So if there's a cheeseburger order waiting, we're going to tell it to run this once. Perform one time. We're going to set this to once. Perform one time. Once. Perform one time. And then this one, in the tutorial, they have you set it up so that this is just like the way to do it, I think, pretty much. is just have it on when the order's pending. That way, it just have it, has it fired up if there's an order waiting for cheeseburgers. Keeps it running. Okay. So next, we can... Because um, if we had, turning this on for one time wouldn't work. We need to have it on the whole time the order's available. The last step would be to... Well, we made one mistake here, but I'll talk about that in a second here. Um, we need to set up the other other dispense or other order reader, right? So we have two orders readers here. This is almost all of our money, but it's gonna be worth it. Connection apart. We go here. Connection apart here. Connection apart here. Okay. So we're gonna have this go on when order is pending. When uh this is gonna go on for Perform action on new order and perform action one time on new order. All right. So that should give us everything we need. The rest of the stuff is not going to run. Otherwise. Cost us almost all of our money, but we're going to get the efficiency bonus, I think. And we're going to get our money bonus here. I think we're going to be okay. So the last step we need to do is connect this output over to here. Now, I mentioned I goofed before because I ran out of room over here. And what that means is that I didn't leave enough room over here. But I'm rather than redoing everything, I'm just gonna go like this. And that's gonna be fine. We're gonna do one extra, one extra conveyor belt. Not gonna break the bank. Actually, we almost ran out of money here, but say la vie. All right, I think we're ready to start this bad boy up and see how it goes. Here we go. All right, let's get our restaurant into high gear here. Reputation is 100%. Now, some of the things that could go wrong here is if you have fire, for instance, that can happen. If you have insects, inf infestations, you can have, uh, you can have most of those, those two things. Also, also, you can have machines break down. If you have a machine running too often, for instance, it could break down and you need to get it repaired. It doesn't happen too often. This guy's looking for a cheeseburger. He's going to be stopping in to Robo Modi's here in a second. We've got a nice, beautiful Robo Modi sign up here. Maybe it's right here. Who's, who's to say? But that order should be coming up here shortly. Let's speed this along a little bit here. Get it moving. All right. Order came in. Real kicked on. Our dispensers are running. This wait seven seconds. This is cooking. This is going perfectly. This is going. Oh, it's right on, right on cue. Right on cue. Look at this. Two orders came up. This is right on cue. Cooking a cheeseburger. Assembling it. And it's getting everything it needs. Look at that. Cheeseburger done. It's very efficient. I think we're going to be okay. Power used for one was 125. That's one dish done. I don't know. We might have used too much power here. We might need to make this more efficient still. And it's hard to say. It's hard to say. We're doing okay so far. I think we're doing okay. I'm going to speed this along just so we can see what happens here. If the power usage goes up too high, I don't know what we're going to do. Let's see. We are... Let's see. If we're halfway on power, we haven't made all the dishes yet, then we're going to have a big problem. We might have an efficiency issue. But this is the be This is the way to get the orders done the fastest we can. Yeah, we're not even halfway on the meals yet. Eh, we're almost halfway on the meals. I think we're okay. 15 done, and we're for below on power. Eh, it's gonna be damn close. It's gonna be real close. We're at 15 orders. Our energy is less than 700, so we're gonna about double that, 1400. I think we're okay. Let's speed up the high gear here. Get this thing really cranking here. And we're good to go. Very good, very, very good. All right. We got 26 and 27 on order here. 28. We need the last two. Special customers of the day. There's 30 and 31. We don't need 31, though. That's all we need. Zero waste, zero efficiency, 77% efficiency. 
probably just in my design of the units and uh, probably using too much power on something. Adding more efficiency is going to be more cost, I think is the problem there. So I think 77% efficiency is pretty great. What does submit design mean? Is that, is that our contract? Let's fulfill the contract, get our cash. So spent 46,000. We got 70,000 bucks back. We got an efficiency bonus of 6,000. Net result, we're plus 29,000 and eight reputation change. And we still have our 50,000 sitting in reserve right here. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at contracts here. Get something new to the feed bag. Deliver 10 dishes during a side salad craze. We get an advance payment of 10 grand. I like that. We have our exact same deal here as the last place. We just need to throw in a side salad. I don't know what's involved in a side salad, but I'm willing to try. Let's take it on here. Let's take on the feed bag. All right, we got our advance. Let's start it up. Let's take a look now. So side salad recipe. What are we working with here? What do we need to add? Side salad, shredded lettuce, sliced tomato, sliced carrots. So we need a lot of processors. Throw it into an assembler. This is easy peasy. This is the easiest thing we can hope for. Um, so we need to make the cheeseburgers again. Let's load the blueprints. Oh, we got this. Can I copy the blueprint from my previous place? Because that would be huge. Uh, let's do this. Now we can actually have got the space quite right here. Now we got the space figured out, actually. And I might go like one more here. No, 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 I want to delete this. I don't want to load either. Let's just make it again here. No problem. This wasn't too bad to make before. Oh, you know what? I, I wish I could undo. Can I control Z? No, I can't. Shoot. All right, we have made things a little too close together here. Let's just remove these things again. I should have saved my blueprint for the cheeseburgers. Because that would make things so much easier if I could save the blueprints each time. This time around, I'm going to save the blueprint for this one. Um, we need this at seven. Let's go six. Maybe we can save, save a whole second off of our time. We need to put in the food processor here. We need to take our uh, dispenser here. Put cheese into it. Throw the conveyor onto there. Good to go. We might be able to save some space right here by moving this stuff over a little bit. Beautiful. All right, works for me. Set this to uh, dispense burger buns. Set the dispense cheese. We have the process done there. I'm gonna save this blueprint now as a cheeseburger. Cheesy. Chessy. It's a Chessy burger. All right, we got Chessy and burger. All right, so that's good. Then we can move this to another restaurant if we need to. That's actually very, very excellent. Because cheeseburgers come up quite often. And this is a standard assembly mechanic here. We should probably set this to 10 seconds. So that comes out of there every 10 seconds then. We need to set up our... Uh, we need to set up our... Our order readers here eventually. That will work on later. Now, now, this is a three ingredient design. We could actually just take this cheesy and modify it to be what we want it to be. So let's send this into, um, let's do this. Let's send this into being another food processor. And we conveyor belt into this that fires into there. We delete these. We make a copy of this. I want to. Make, I wish there was a way to just click and make a copy. Oh, well. all right. We take this. We take this. We take a food processor arm here, and then runs them all together here. So we'll set this to lettuce. We'll set this to tomato. We'll set this to carrot. And these all take the same amount of process, so we don't have to make it any kind of adjustments on timing here. We could also have the five seconds on all that. Okay. And then next, we're at 50 grand spent, which is fine. We're getting 96,000 bucks if we can do this right. Um, let's see what else can we do here. Let's, uh, let's see. We need our order reader set up. We got one, 
two, three. Let's actually, if this works, let's do a test on the side salad here. Simulate a side salad order, see what happens. Okay, we just gotta set that to the right recipe. That's the problem there. Um, side salad. Okay. That looked like it was pretty good. Let's set this guy. Let's just do another test now quick here. Make sure it's gonna be right. Then we just gotta set it up to export and then we should be good. All right, spent one to along, speed it along here a little bit. So making a side salad? Yes, it is. Oh, wait, before we do this, did I misread the ingredients here? No, it's one, one, one. Per ah, this is easy, easy peasy, okay. So, dummy arm, dummy arm, dummy arm. We'll set this output to right side. It'll come out this one then. And then uh, we'll just have it throw it on conveyor belt right here. Done. Let's save this blueprint for salads. I don't want to save it on blueprint. Salad. All right. We got that done. And then we're just going to set this guy up to be a salad detector. Set a connection there, connection there, connection there. Set this guy to perform action. Perform action. Oops. Perform action. Set these all to one. All right, salad comes in, it goes to that. Then we set this guy to, what is this, cheeseburger? We go connection, connection, connection. Turn this off when done. We set that to one off on while order's pending. We set that to perform action, perform action, perform action. Set it to one each. Make sure this is set to cheeseburger. Yep, make sure this is set to salad. Yep, make sure it's set to burger. Yep. Set this one to burger. Set this one to cheeseburger. Connect this guy up to bam. And bam. And bam. Just keep this thing off. On when order is pending. Set it to one and one. Set it to one and one. All right, I think we're good to go once again here. Let's start it up and see what happens. I think we are going to be doing well here. Let's speed it along here a little bit. Oh, 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 wait a second. Stop. Back up. Did I waste something there? Turn off for one second. No, 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 no. There we go. That was the problem. A misclick. A simple misclick. All right. Start her up. All right. So I think we're good to go here. Let's speed it along. Let it order come up and see what happens. And no orders happen at all, which is great. Nope, we got one. Plain burger. Go to work. <gasps> Here come the burgers. Here come the cheeseburgers. Here come the salads. Beautiful, beautiful things happening. Orders up. And we need to deliver 10 salads. Oh, did I throw a cheese on there? What happened there? Needs a burger bun. Why is it not getting a burger bun? Wait, wait, wait. Cheeseburger's not getting done here. What's happening? What's happening? Why is it breaking? Waiting for ingredients for plain burger. Oh, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. We got these mixed up. We used a blueprint, and that's why it's breaking. So a little bit of waste there. But now I think we're figured it out. Start it up again. I think we're good now. Let's speed it along nicely. Isn't it weird how these things look like they're going in reverse when it's going fast? There's gotta be a name for that effect. But it happens with the car tires and that kind of thing too. It looks so goofy. It's going so fast, it looks like it's running backwards. 
That looks like it's good. That looks like it's good. That looks like it's good. Beautiful. We got it. We got to figure it out. We are a mean, lean, mean, robotic restaurant machine. And we're knocking out meals right and left. We got to deliver the 10 craze dishes. Now, the craze dishes are not happening. The side salad was the issue there. What am I missing about craze dishes? What are craze dishes? Hold up. Hey, we got a thumbs up. We got a thumbs up. Oh, hold on a second. Here. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Here comes side salad frenzy. Oh my God, side salad frenzy. Look at this. They're just going to town on the side salads. It's the latest health craze in town here. We got it. Of course we got it. 94% efficiency, man. That was a good place. And the nice thing here is that we got those designs saved for the next time. So next time we need to do this kind of thing, we're done. I love it. I love it. We got all that cash, submit the design. We made, we spent 70,000 bucks. We made 96,000 in return plus the bonus. Net result, 31,000 bucks. And we're eight reputation change and increases our cash to 121,000. Now we can get some real big contracts, but that's gonna have to do it for our look at Atomic Chef. As I said, this game's available on Steam right now. Go download it for yourself if you're interested. Thank you again to developers for writing a free copy. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like, support the channel, leave a subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're first time here, say hello, and stop back next time for something else. See you guys.